Hey you guys, so this is going to be a video featuring a company called Milani or a makeup line called Milani Cosmetics and um, I want to give a big thank you to Jamie um, for sending me out these products and letting me try them. I was sent about eight different products to try out um, for consideration for this review and I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Nail Art Nail Polishes which look like this. And I think they're fairly new. And I was sent the first one. It's called White Canvas 704. And it's just the white. And this is the applicator. So you can do um, nail designs. These are specifically for nail designs. Um there wouldn't be no way that you could paint your whole nail with this. I mean, I guess it could if you really had to, but they're for nail art designs. And the next one is Purple Outline 710, which looks like this. And it's just a purple with glitter, some reflex in it. And this is the applicator, the same. And here are the swatches, the purple outline, and the white canvas. The last of power for these are amazing. I did my toes last Saturday. My toes are still just the way that I left them. Um, no chipping, no skipping with the um, brushes. You know how you get spaces in between when you draw on the design none of that so I give these a 10 out of 10 I love these I really wanted to try these out going to my local drugstore but I never really picked them up so I'm glad she sent me over these two to try out and I also put the prices in the bottom bar so you guys could see them because they're very affordable you can find these products at your local drugstore the next two products are lip products and they are the HD advanced lip color I believe these are new to the Milani collection. The colors I got are 103 Rich Caramel and 102 Classy Nude. Now these, like I really, I don't know, I'm a little confused. They, I don't know, they have colors to them. I guess it's basically like a tinted lip conditioner because they don't, give off color at all. They're just for moisturizing and hydrating your lips. Um, these would work best for someone with not as pigmented lips I guess. Then you could really see the color but for someone with lips like mine um, the color doesn't really show so it's basically just um, a lip balm or you know something to hydrate your lips and give them the moisture or whatever. Because 103 Caramel looks like this. As you can tell, it looks like this. And on my lips, it just looks like a lip gloss, you know? And then 102 Classy Nude is lighter. It's right here. And honestly, though, like the swatches, if they were for color colors, I mean, like if they were meant for coloring your lip, the swatches on the website and the swatches on here are wrong. Like, okay, so Rich Caramel, the color on here is very deep and dark. And this is what the color looks like. It's very light. As for Classy Nude, that's why I picked these two colors. But I mean, it really doesn't affect me. I still like to wear them. So, um, I that's the only problem I guess if you're a person that um, when it comes to swatches that you hate when the swatches are wrong or whatever then I guess you know maybe you should check them out on the store not online but um, other than that these are a-okay with me the next uh, product is called the Milani lip flash full coverage shimmer gloss pencil and Okay, you don't roll it up. It's just a lip crayon, basically. This is very pigmented. I love this. 
and as I do at the end of all my videos, I will show you guys my favorite um, oops, products out of everything that I received today. But this is in the color Lip Flash. This is the this is called the Lip Flash pencil, but this color also is called Lip Flash 01. It's just a real neutral brown with shimmer in it, and it's right here. And I love, love, love these. It is kind of tacky on your lips, but I like that feeling, me personally. They're very pigmented. You do, I do recommend, since this is like a hydrating um, thing. What I did was pair both of these together, and you can get the desired look and feel that you need with this. So, check that out as well. Next is the iTech Liquid Eyeliner, and it is in the color 01 Black, and this is what it looks like. This is a very little um, container. I thought it was going to be big. Let's see, compared to this bottle of Max Fix Plus, it's very tiny, but I mean, it doesn't matter because these little guy packs a powerful punch, like it's very pigmented. I'll just swatch it for you guys. Look at that. You can see that like from a mile away. It's so pigmented. Um, if you're a beginner, I don't recommend this for you. This is for someone who has experience with applying eyeliner because even for me and I've been doing makeup for a while now, um, it's kind of hard if you have a shaky hand or something to control this because it is a felt tip applicator as you can see and it does kind of bend a little bit so you need a very very big amount of control when using this but I love this this is my favorite go to eyeliner now next is the Milani baked blush in Bellissimo bronze and it's the baked powder blush and it's a little container and this is the blush very neutral and peachy and it also comes with a mirror and this little angled brush and with one swatch you get a very big amount of product as you can see this is very pigmented so what I advise is when you pick up product with this that you just like lightly dab it like that and then just work with that because it's better to start off with a little bit than a whole lot because this goes a long way all you need is like barely touching it and apply it to your cheekbone or whatever and you'll have the desired look so just be very careful when using this the staying power for this um i give it about three three hours maybe for me maybe because i'm rough and i just do a lot but i guess for you sweet little petite girls that don't rough house or whatever then it may last longer for you but all together this is a very nice blush it's very the consistency for me is kind of creamy and kind of chalky it's very confusing for me but I haven't had a problem with it I love it and the last product is this Milani cream to powder foundation and she sent me the color O2 spice almond which is not my color but what I have been using this for is a concealer. This is very, 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 very good for a concealer. Um, just to do touch-ups on blemishes and stuff like that that you may have. Um, so that's what I tend to do with this one because it is cream to powder. You really don't have to set it with a setting pow powder or worry about it creasing because it is a powder. Consi well, the consistency is creamy and then it turns into a powder. And this is what it looks like and then it turns into a powder so you don't really have to worry about it creasing I didn't wear this as a foundation because it was way too light for me so um, what I did was did like touch ups or under my eyes this works great for that and it has a huge mirror and you also get a little sponge which I don't use in the little vented holes in the back or whatever okay so that's all that I received my favorite product, I have to say, was the HD Advanced Lip Color in 103 Rich Caramel. 
paired with the Lip Flash Lip Color and Lip Flash 01 along with the iTech Liquid Eyeliner and last is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation those I really recommend um, you guys trying I don't hate the other products but these are the ones that I found myself using the most so thank you guys for watching and I hope this video was very helpful and thank you again to Jamie for sending me these products and you guys have a great day. Bye and thanks for watching.